destination today just because I left my ring light at my sister's and we're having to use natural lighting so I've got you downstairs in a little corner and I've kind of made a little setup with this fence really plant. I'm absolutely boiling but it was only right to have a knitted jump on in this video because it is an autumn haul. If you are new here, hello, I am Libby. I'm building a YouTube space all about fashion and lifestyle and I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new and if you enjoy it and let's just get started. I'm going to talk about what I've got on first and I've also got another one. Okay, so we're going to talk knitwear first. I have said in a past, I think the past video. Knitwear is an essential in autumn. You can style it up, you can style it down. These two are from H&M. I am obsessed with H&M knits. They're just classic, they're easy. If you just want to stock up on your simple knits that aren't too expensive, H&M is the place to go for that. So this isn't a try on, but I just thought I'd show you the one that I've got on now. So this is in a large. It's really easy to style. It's a lovely, lovely colour. It's not too itchy, it's like not unbearable. I think it's just because I'm warm right now that I can really feel it. I feel like I just need to do this. But it's awkward at the minute. The weather's like telling us, everyone's telling you to like get stocked up on autumn wear. But it's still quite muggy. It's still quite muggy in the UK. So it's a tricky one. But you can style them with leggings, you can style them with straight leg jeans like I've got. These oversized ones are nice if you want to like tuck it up and just wear it with a jacket it's just they're so easy and i love this color i really want to get one similar to this but just in like white or light cream and then i feel like i'm pretty much set with my knitwear this one turtleneck can't go wrong you either love it or you hate it i love turtlenecks i actually had this exact one last year and when i went shopping at the weekend i was like this better still be stocked because i will cry because it's so easy to style and you can look really sleek and chic. <laughs> sleek and chic <laughs> with a black turtleneck. You can wear them with straight leg jeans and like uh, boots, you know, like a heeled boot. You can wear them just with trainers, with a trench coat. You can style them up and you can style it down. I feel like a black one is an essential um, in winter because they're so easy to style. And I've got it in a size got it in a size euro large the reason i don't have the one from last year is because i cut i cut my tags out and sometimes i'm quite careless when i cut them out and i actually cut a hole in the back of the um jumper so i knew i needed to buy a new one this year when these are only like i swear they were 19 pounds or something and you live in them and they're just cozy great for work so i'm going to continue with knitwear pieces um, these ones are a bit more quirky and something a little different. I really, really like these and also Urban Outfitters is one of my favourite shops to find quirky pieces. If I saw this jumper in Urban, i think to myself, I'm not going to buy that here because I know I can get it cheaper somewhere else because obviously they are quite expensive there but you're buying good quality things and quirkier brands. I'm pretty sure they even sell diesel now and... Not that I can afford diesel, but one day, one day. <laughs> but yeah, so these two pieces I found over the weekend. This one wasn't in the sale, but I saw it on a mannequin and I was just like, I don't usually buy things that are over £50, if that makes sense. So I don't usually buy an item, like a singular item that's over that price bracket unless it's like a jacket or it's like a statement piece that I know I'm going to love and get compliments on, if that makes sense. And these are those sort of pieces. You'll understand what I mean. So this is lovely. I've not seen anything like this on any other website. So it's nice and baggy. You can wear like t-shirts underneath it. You can wear like just the best. And crochet is just a classic. It's really in and it's this lovely cool toned stone colour. This was like 40 odd pounds, like 46 pounds. So I saw it and I was like, <laughs> I was like, I can't, can't justify this. But you know, when you know you can't get something like this somewhere else. I've already styled it with so many different things and I absolutely love it. Just the way it sits off the shoulder. It was really hard to find it because like I saw it on the mannequin, you know, and you're just like, I need, I need 
that. And I was literally looking around the shop for ages because if you've been in urban, you'll know the way they place things is all over the shop and some things are hidden underneath things. But my sister found it. I was like, thank you. <laughs> then this I actually found in London at the weekend. This was in the sale. So this is another thing. I love a sale at Urban. And I was pretty shocked because obviously it's the end of summer sale, but they had knit in, in the sale. So I was like, oh, well, this is good. This is handy. This was meant to be £59. This jumper was meant to be £59. I wouldn't have bought this if it wasn't in the sale. This is, it was reduced to £24. £24. Pounds. So it's really, really funky. This is another piece that you're like, you wouldn't find it anywhere else. And if you do, tell me. <laughs> but it's lovely because it's like that loose, tell you what's in right now. I've sidetracked, haven't I? But let's just, let's just roll with it. Lace and crochet and loose knits. Loose knits like this where it's knitted, but it's really loose and if you can kind of see what items of clothing you've got underneath. And lace is so in this year like it's so funny because when I was shopping with my sister so my sister's 29 so she was like peak teenager adolescence in the 2000s and she was like oh my god <laughs> in urban she was like oh like she was seeing like things that was giving her PTSD from her adolescence so like things that are coming back in they're doing a full circle so lacy tops um but there's some gorgeous pieces of lace, like gorgeous lace tops and urban. You, if, you, if you're into it, which I am definitely into, um, then <laughs> I'm laughing because I can just picture my sister. And then those belts, you know, those circular leather belts, really big. I was like, yeah, they're in as well, those really thin scarves. Like the 2000s are back in this winter and I'm here for it. I love it because I never experienced it because obviously in the 2000s, I was a wee baby and I was a little baby. So, yeah, I'm here for it, but Alice is not. So I watched a TikTok of like the colours that are really in this year. And it's, the style of this year is very grungy and deep, plummy colours, like plums, reds, red leather, um, maroony colours. So that's why in this you'll notice that I've really darkened up my wardrobe compared to if you watched my summer wardrobe videos and things, you'll see that I've kind of jumped to darker colours, which I'm here for. I don't normally do this. I'm quite proud of myself. I'm, I'm going grungy this winter. I've decided I like to switch up my style. I've decided I'm gonna wear dark, dark things, push myself out of my comfort zone. So this one, I wouldn't have ever purchased, but it is fab. I tried it on and it's just amazing. It's just the fact there's different colours to it. It's really, really nice fit. I got it in a size small. When I tried it on, I had low-rise jeans on and I can picture it with like a black belt with like baggy low-rise jeans yeah really really lovely so these are they're all the knit items knit, knit items that I've purchased recently I do still have some good ones from last year so I feel like I don't want to overdo it next thing we're going to talk about is trousers if you are like me and you love your jeans but you like to spice up you like to wear something a little different especially if say you're doing a nice fancy like Bista village like shopping trip or something or you're going on a date night or you're going out with your friends and you don't just want to wear jeans tailored trousers in winter are just perfect so these are Bershka I actually have the corset to go with this I love the suit vibes at the minute as well this is really in as well Rita Ora has just come out with a collection in Primark and I saw they have a set, like a tailored set, so it's like a short waistcoat with baggy tailored trousers. They are just sewing this year and they're great because it's like chic vibes. But these ones I just loved. I loved the clothes, they're cream um, and they've got like a light black detail. Wide leg, I just love the button detail at the top and it's got pockets. They're just really, really lovely. The way I'd style this is with like a knit like this, with a trench, or you could wear it with like a little white tee, like the one I've got on here, with like a bomber jacket, cardigan. They're so easy to style, a classic like white shirt and a white bodysuit. The options are endless. I got Euro 34, which I'm thinking is a six. 
yeah, fabulous. These ones, these are out of my comfort zone. I don't really wear navy. I'm still struggling, not struggling, I've styled them already, but they're a bit trickier to style in my head, if that makes sense. These are so in at the minute, especially with that like extra white bit of material, kind of looking like you've got a bit of like a boxer coming out. But these ones aren't like that. These are ASOS design and they've got like the buttons like kind of a bit further over and they kind of sit on your hip, they're not high waisted. And the way they've got an angle here kind of creates a nice shape. They're size six and they're wide leg as well. A navy for me is just a bit more harder to style. I, I guess it's just because I've not reached for it in the past. And when I go for jeans as well, I always go for lighter jeans. I never really go for dark denim. So I feel like I just need to push myself up my comfort zone because dark denim is always nice in winter and a lot of people use it. Oh my gosh, I love it. So it's a BDG purchase. So BDG is one of my favorite brands in Urban Outfitters. Leather jackets are so in this year. I have a black leather jacket already, but sometimes I find it really harsh to wear, if that makes sense. Because I am fair, I don't always look as tanned as I am in this video. I do fake tan on the regular. I, sometimes I feel like black can look really harsh against me. And I just thought, I love leather jackets. They keep me really warm. They're really in the sheer. So I kind of need to get one that's like a lighter colour. So when I am having one of those days where I'm a bit paler, you know what I mean? Black can just be quite harsh sometimes in a statement. So this is, that's my, that was my mentality behind this £79 purchase that I didn't need to make. But it's really thick. It's the bomber jacket, leather jacket style, which I am so obsessed with. This is definitely going to be my go-to jacket this year. Last year was my trench, and I think this year it's gonna be this one. It's just a lovely, like, brownie, gray color, and it's just such fab quality. I saw this and I couldn't, I couldn't say no. <laughs> so I bought it. Speaking of another jacket that I didn't need to buy, but I bought is another bomber jacket. I just love a bomber. Can't, you can't go wrong. And this I saw on ASOS and I was like, that's so different. It can spice up a basic outfit. I probably won't reach for this as my staple in my wardrobe like the other one. But when I'm wanting to feel a bit different, I can pop this one on. <laughs> what do you call this material? Super oversized. It's a blue jacket, navy. And I literally just said that I don't really like navy. But... I like this. So it's a typical bomber with like the framing around the neck, really, really puffy and oversized. And it's this really funky material. I've actually styled this before with some black heels and a unitard, and it looked so chic and cool, something a little different to wear on a night out. I might feature that in a video that I'm thinking of doing of like night out fashion inspo, because people say, it's so painful coming up with a really nice outfit for an event that you've got in winter and then having to put a jacket over it to kill the vibe. Whereas this jacket is the vibe, so it's why I couldn't say no to it. So it's ASOS design and I got it in UK6, so it's not one that you need to buy oversized from your size, that makes sense. It's one that's already oversized. I bought a size 8 and a 6. And there wasn't much difference in it other than the length, so I kept the size six. This one, just so you can see the, the style of it. I mean, it's obviously quite a noisy jacket, <laughs> but it's just so cool. Like, it's a statement and it's noisy as hell. Right, we are on to the last item that I'm gonna show in this video. And they are the sexiest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I mean, not very comfortable, I'm not gonna lie, but when are pointy toes ever comfortable? I just love the crop print and the shininess and how they've got this funky sock paneling thing. They're just amazing. My mentality behind these was when I reach for a blazer to go on like a night out 
or say I've got a little small dress on or a knit dress or like an oversized shirt dress with like a jacket. Having stilettos on just kills the vibe. I feel like a boot in winter on a night out is the statement of the outfit. You can really dress down on the top and kind of make a really chic outfit. Nail from ASOS and I can't stress enough how much I think boots are an essential in autumn and winter. They're just a vibe. They're just really hella uncomfortable. So, overview of everything I've shown you, scattered on my floor right now. <laughs> I feel really happy and satisfied with the things I've purchased recently. I told myself before autumn I want to not overbuy, but I want staple pieces. I want pieces that I can alternate with different clothes, different outfits and things that I'm going to have in my wardrobe for a long time, so maybe a bit more expensive, but staples. So, that is what I've done. I hope it's given you some inspo. I'm definitely excited to style all these pieces, and I'm definitely thinking the next video I'm going to whiz up is going to be kind of like an evening, night out outfit, try on inspo. I've liked filming in here. I feel like I could kind of make a little like catwalk area to do like a try on. I need to make sure I get my bloody ring light back with my sister who lives two hours away. So it's not really ideal. I need that in the salon. So yeah, I'm gonna try my hardest to link and find everything down below. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe it will really, really help me out a lot. Yes, okay, I shall see you in my next one. Bye-bye.